Hello everyone. Here I am going to explain one plugin or you can say the add-on which satisfies all the requirements of teachers while using Google Form for education. See many add-ons are available in Google Workspace Marketplace. So how to use it? Just we are clicking on three dots. As per the requirement, we are just typing the needs of that add-on and you you can install and you can use. Suppose you need form limiter add-on, you need to type the form limiter here. Different options for the form limiter available. You need to click here. You need to install this. You need to allow the permission in order to start installing. You need to use this. You need to give the permission on your drive, your mail, calendar to this add-on and then you can use this add-on for your purpose. If you want to send the certificate after submission of feedback form, for this also again you need to put three dots, then get add-on, you need to type here certify EM add-on and you can send the certificate. Similarly, for different functionality like QR code, sending email notification, all these purposes, you need to install that add-on, then only you can use that add-on. So instead of this, after studying the all 104 add-on available in Google Marketplace, I created the one add-on which satisfies the all the needs of the teacher. So just click here. I have created this add-on and installed for my system. So just click on open sidebar. Here is the add-on which satisfies the need of the teacher. Suppose you want to create the one uh, Google form which accepts only limited amount of entry. Here you can just click here. You can type the here number. Suppose uh, you want only the 70 participants for this event. You can type the 70 and just click on a set limit. So this form will accept only the 70 entries for the uh, event or for the any program. Suppose you want to restrict the entries in a specific date only, means the registration open from only specific date to specific date. Here you, you can set the date and just click on a set date. So, respondent can fill the form only within that date. And after that, suppose anyone is trying to uh, register before the date or after the date, automatically these responses will be closed. And the message uh, for the respondent is this form not accepting responses. Please check the date of registration. So this type of message to the participant. Email notification. Next feature is email notification. Why to use this email notification? See, this will provide the facility in which here when any respondent is submitting the form, automatically email notification will send to the uh, owner also and to that respondent also. Just you need to click here, you need to enable this, so automatically email notification will be sent to the creator. Creator means your form, so you are a creator and to the respondent also. And here you will get the short information of that respondent. Next is show QR code. This QR code is useful. When to use this QR code? Suppose you want to check the attendance of the hundreds of students at the same time. It's not possible to share the link. Suppose the for the event or for the program, different classes students came or the different area students are there. So at that time, you can just click, uh, you can share this type of a QR with the student. For registration also, we are using this QR. See, this QR means when anyone uh, scanning this QR code, automatically they will get this type of a form. So you, you can use this for the registration, for the attendance purpose, for the appointment purpose, for the advertisement purpose, you can use this QR code. So just by scanning this QR code, anyone can open your Google Form link. Next is, suppose a participant wants to book the appointment in your calendar. See, here we are providing the facility to the participant to book the specific appointment in your calendar.
calendar means in creator calendar so here you can uh, write the event title event description and here we are providing the calendar id so your calendar id you need to insert here so participant can book the appointment in your calendar on a specific date and this date will be uh, taken from the your responses of the respondent just you need to click here set event details so automatically this calendar will uh, take that entries inside the calendar next is certificate generator for any webinar for any event online event we are sending the certificate of participation so it's not easy to send the certificate to each and every uh, participant individually manually so after submission of this form automatically this form will send the certificate to that participant just you need to click on the create certificate and suppose you want the 100 uh, responses certificate means suppose a 100 participants are there or the 30 participants are there and you need to create the, you want the suppose the certificate of all that participant just click on the create certificate automatically you will get all this certificate on your drive see this type of a folder will be automatically created on your drive and this is a certificate here you can insert the one uh, sample certificate or you can write the any certificate here you can use your template and automatically name of the respondent will be on that certificate you can add the many more fields like a college name and the event purpose and all these things you can add this is the sample certificate and here automatically name will be come okay respondent name will be come on that certificate next is from ranger feature or auto populate feature why to use this feature suppose you want to make a one form in that the student name and the you, uh, you need a 100 student name as a uh, option to that question so you can just take this range of that names from the one google sheet just here you click here if you want the names in the check boxes or multiple choice just click here and you can you need to just click on a populate form so automatically you can select that range of a data means automatically you can take the option for the form from the available data no need to type each and every option here next one is eliminate choice the use of this is suppose students want to book the particular time of appointment this is you can use for the parent teacher meeting or for the project viva here you need to just in the question title here select the appointment time so you need to just copy this and you need to write here enter the question title so just copy this title paste here and just click on a save and click on a enable so eliminate choice means here choice is 8 to 9 am 9 to 10 am means when the first participant will fill the form and the select the choice 8 to 9 am this choice will be removed from here and for the second participant there will be only one choice so according to this we can create our own schedule you can do the uh, fixed time slot to the individual participant and last one is generate pdf see sometimes we need to create a pdf of the collected responses we automatically getting all the responses in a sheet also when we are clicking here this is the inbuilt functionality of google in the form but sometimes if you need this uh, filled form filled responses see here you can see the responses and you can check the data here you can check the data individually but if you want this as a uh, this inside the one document how to take it so here is the facility to generate the pdf when any participant is filling the form and submitting the form automatically pdf of that response with answer question and answer will be saved on your drive so this type of uh, pdf will automatically on your drive see here when clicking on a pdf see first response pdf means this is a question and this is the answer given by the respondent automatically you can generate the this type of pdf and you can use it for your record so this is the option generate pdf 
see here is it two choices you can uh, generate the pdf individually or suppose you want the pdf of all 35 participants just click on a generate pdf so it will generate the all 35 pdf for the uh, uh, pdf of this responses so here i try to develop the one add-on which uh, combines the functionality which are the required functionality I have selected all these add-ons after the studying the different website, different research available, literature available and after that, uh, after the survey, I have created these uh, different functionalities into one. If you like this or if you want any other functionality uh, or the required functionality, so please type it in a comment box. So, I will try to develop this functionality and I will add this functionality into this. This data is totally used for the research purpose. So I am requesting all of you, if you like this, please uh, give the, uh, your feedback in shared form. This data will be used only for the research purpose.